Hello, I'm Dr. Murray Susser, and I'm here to talk to you about stress. Well, I'm here to do something about stress, stress and feeling sick. What I found about stress is that it can be dealt with if you understand it. And a lot of people have not heard of the thymus gland, and it ties in very closely with stress and the adrenal gland, which most people have heard of, work together to battle the forces of stress as they damage our body or torment our body and our mind. This is a book that I wrote, I co-authored with my friend Michael Rosenbaum, Solving the Puzzle of Chronic Fatigue Syndrome. Chronic fatigue syndrome is closely uh, involved with stress, and so is the thymus gland. And they're tied together very closely in a very important way. But the thymus gland is the master gland, if you will. It's the quarterback of the immune system. The immune system is what we use to fight off infection and toxins and to, and to heal when we're damaged. And if the immune system isn't working right, then we won't be working right. And thymus gland, in a stressful situation, can shrink up by 50% within a week. The thymus gland is here. It's in the, under the breastbone, sits there, and sends out signals by way of hormones called thymosin to the glandular parts of the body that make uh, white cells particularly. So the thymus tells the body what white cells to make to fight off infection, to fight off toxins, to fight off cancer. And it also tells the body what white cells not to make, because there are certain white cells that are programmed to, to attack our own cells in the body. But the thymus gland tells these cells not to function. It puts them to sleep. And then they don't bother us and they don't cause what is called autoimmune disease. An autoimmune attack, it doesn't make any sense, but it's the same principle as friendly fire in a war. That's an oxymoron. There's nothing friendly about it. And the same thing goes on with the body with autoimmune disease. And the thymus gland helps keep us from getting uh, autoimmune disease. When the thymus gland breaks down or some other part of the system breaks down, we can get rheumatoid arthritis or something of that nature. The, the stress that we feel and we get is fought off by the immune system and if we know how to use the immune system in various ways both emotionally and physically uh, then we can overcome stress. And in recent years it's become apparent that we can have better preparations than we ever had before.